we're back. We have Kyle Higashioka with us. We can take a first question. Kyle, Meredith. what does it mean to you to know that you're going to be behind the plate for what will be the most important game of the season thus far? Uh, it means a lot. You know, um, I think I heard somebody say uh, pressure is a privilege. And, you know, when it gets to this point in the year, every game is, comes with a ton of pressure. So, um, you know, I try to relish the opportunity and, and rise to my best game. Is there any added preparation or anything you do differently knowing the magnitude of the game? Um, no, just because in the regular season, you know, I treat every game as a must win. So, um, you know, here every game is really is a must win. We'll take the next question from Marley Rivera. Um, hi, Kyle. As one of the longest tenured Yankees in this organization, what does this game feel like? I always, I mean, as a as a fan, I always think the uh, one game, wild card game, is the most exciting game of the year. So um, for it to be Yankees Red Sox, winner take all, um, you know, it's it's pretty exciting, and we all know the magnitude of this game, um, especially against the Red Sox. So we're just going to go out there and and bring our best stuff. And Kyle, when your team, when Brian Cashman ownership went out a couple of years ago and paid Garrett Cole $324 million, this is kind of what they paid him for. And yeah. This is kind of that moment. Do you believe that he will step up and you know, sort of earn his money? <laughs> of course. Uh, everybody believes he's going he's gonna to step up and bring his best game. So, you know, he's, he's preparing mentally right now as we speak. And, and, you know, I'm preparing. The whole team's preparing. It's, it, it takes everyone. Um, it's not just going to be him out there. It's going to be nine of us plus everyone on the bench, and, and we're going to have to all play a part. Dan? Kyle, what's been different about um, Garrett the last four or five starts where the, you know, the numbers haven't been as good as they were, say, in July and August? Uh, I think, you know, it just he, he hit a, had a couple shaky starts um, recently, but, you know, mixed with some good ones. and. Uh, you know, I've, I just have no doubt that he's going he's gonna to come out and make sure that he's, he's got his best stuff. And, um, you know, he's a guy that rises to the occasion, so I'm not, I'm not really too worried about him. Have you seen the, the hamstring impact him at all? Uh, I'm not sure. It's, uh, you know, the stuff looks, looks similar. I don't, you know, he, he would have to probably tell you that. Ken? Okay. Um, there's been a lot of talk about this year for you guys. It's been a, a real roller coaster you know, with all the, the ups and downs. And I'm wondering, during those, those down times, how much uh, have you looked to Aaron Boone for, for guidance and for the way he conducts himself during those down times? And what do you think about that, with the way he, has condu he conducts himself? Yeah, I mean, it's, all, it's always important for a manager to keep a, a level head, um, especially during, during down times, because we know him, you know, during the times we've we've not played so well, that's that's not who we are. So um, it's important not to get down on ourselves, and and we know that he's always going to have a a pretty calm, level head about everything. And um, you know, it's it's never it never helps when you panic about something. Um, I think that that kind of negative mindset can only negatively impact you. So um, you know, it's always it's always great to have somebody leading the team with a, a very level head. Christy has the next question. Uh, since Garrett Cole's been with the Yankees, we haven't been able to be in the clubhouse to kind of see him before games or, or how he changes. In a before a big game like this, maybe like when he went to Houston or something, how how is he? What's his you know what's his personality like before a big game when he's preparing for this kind of a game? Uh, he pretty much prepares for every game the same way. Uh, he's always he's got his routine that you know starts in the morning when he wakes up and. He sticks to it no matter what. Um, he's always comes to the field focused, locked in, you know, ready to go. And and um, you know, I don't think it really varies from game to game. Do you see any difference in him when there's a big pressure, when there's a big moment? I would just say on the field, he, you know, he can elevate his game when it's um, when it's a big situation. But I mean, in terms of the preparation, it's always the same. Susan. 
How hard is it to change a game plan with him if something isn't working? Because I know you, you've known each other for so long. Is it easier? Uh, I think it just depends on how quickly we catch on and are able to um, recognize that we need to change. You know, he's, he's so good that most of the time um, we can, you know, have a game plan and stick to it no matter who we're facing. But there are times where, um, you know, the opposing team comes out and, and is, you know, being more aggressive or, or trying to do something. And uh, we, need, we definitely, in those situations, need to recognize that quickly and, and make an adjustment before, you know, it possibly gets out of hand. Stay over there with Brian. Hey, Kyle. I asked Garrett this question, too. What will tonight be like for you? Are you going to go over reports until, like, midnight or, you know, watch video, or are you going to try and unplug a little bit? How does that work for you? Uh, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be watching, you know, video of the, um, the other hitters and, and the other pitchers probably till I, you know, just about till I'm ready to go to bed. I mean, that's it's just kind of what I do anyways, so... Um, you know, especially a game like this, you, you really just need to make sure you have all your bases covered. Bob, wait for a mic. Thank you. Kyle, um, how jarring is it for you as, as Garrett's catcher and as a teammate to, to see him struggle the way he has, um, particularly over the last three starts? I mean, he has set the bar so high. You know, he's by far and away obviously your best pitcher, but then to see him get hit like that, and, you know, he's only human as it turns out. I mean, how jarring is it to, to come to that realization that, you know, just like anybody else, he, he has bad streaks and he's in, he's in the middle of one now? Well, I think the, the good thing about, you know, being a, a, a pitcher rather than a position player, I, I think you have, you have those four days in between starts to be able to make an adjustment and come out and, and do a completely different thing the next game. So um, I wouldn't say it's like just because he had a bad start last time, that means he's going to have a bad start again. Um, you know, there's always time to prepare and make adjustments for your next game, and, you know, we're going to go out and do that. Eric Bolton, the back of the room on the left. Kyle, what has stood out to you about your bullpen and the collection of arms you guys have been running out there the last, you know, six to eight weeks? I think the thing that stood out is everyone's ability to cope with a high leverage situation. Um, you know, especially the younger guys or, or guys who haven't been so used to coming in in, in ultra high leverage situations is they um, they never lose their ability to throw strikes and attack the zone, and I think that's the most important thing um, as a as a reliever is you know making sure you don't fall behind hitters and and you know give away free bases you know and that gives the other the other team a chance to keep the keep the line moving so um, you know these guys these guys attack hitters so it's that's that's what you want. Brendan Cuddy, Kyle, speaking of high leverage situations, where do you think Araldis is right now compared to when he was kind of in a really deep funk a, a few months ago? I think he looks really good. Um, you know, we have all the confidence in the world in him. Um, last several outings, I think, have been really good. He's been throwing a lot of strikes, getting guys out. He's been rock solid. So, I mean, we trust him 100%. Anyone else for Kyle? Back to Marley. Kyle, what is this game for you? Personally, the fact that you're going to get to be behind the plate, you know, we were asked a little bit about this before, but you know, is this the biggest game you believe of your career as a Yankee so far? I mean, I was kind of looking back yesterday a little bit at some of the other playoff games I played in, and I mean, a game five of the division series is really no different than this. It's just, you know, this is. There's no series preceding the, the game. So um, having played in, in game five last year of the division series, it's the same exact situation. We have to win or we go home. So um, I'm definitely going to use that as, as a um, kind of reference point and just to know that I've, I've been there before. It's <laughs>